We are Starbucks. <laughs>
some of my close friends started to get some unofficial employment pro pro It makes me more anxious sometimes. Now I realize that I compared with my surrounders too much. However, it was really important element for me to search about my who I am for solving and makes my mind sunny when I come here at first. However, Yuki's words struck my heart sharply. She said, what do you mean who I am? Who I am it seems like easy and convenient to say at your age, but is it truly fine for you to make transformation and change? It happened in an instant. I seems like lose my reason that I come here. I couldn't accept her opinion when I heard it the first, first time because finding how who I am was my one of the biggest reasons to come here. It just after they happened, which my heart was changing gradually. I try to concern deeply what I want to get and what I want to make it clear for my future aim. Finally, I could find my aim. That was having strong belief and confidence by myself. It's simple, isn't it? But the very easy question made me heart and mind clouded. I realized that I felt relief from comparison with others' ability or knowledge. On the other hand, I recognized that I com completely lost my confidence even I had it before. Third session, side visit, exchange opinion with guest speakers, group members, mentoring with my mentor. I clearly changed my own question, the ambiguous one to a specific one like who I am, to what is most important element for me in the future, and what I am interested in right now. And the most biggest experience was gave speech at the USJC party. Through preparing for my speech, I learned that not only my honest question, but also the path makes me more confident to know and recognize about myself. At the same time, I recognize, I realize that I used to have my future dream and aim. The one thing that I forget about it is my confidence. And then I just started remembering it right now. Of course, I still have something that I have to think, but learning process and finding my strength and weakness makes me more open. I won't just keep my reflection and never forget about confidence, which I noticed through this program. <coughs> and the second turning point which made our team better is spending time with our mentor Howard. Say, no, we love Howard. <laughs> <laughs> We had many meetings with Harold, sometimes as a group and sometimes as an individual. It was so precious and inspiring. And also, we had delicious dinner with yeah. Harold. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Harold. Thank you. <laughs> we could get opportunities to talk with him one by one. It was a big turning point for me. It was third weeks in this program. I talked with him about what I was scared. And then I cried. I was so scared to forget the feelings which I felt at that time. And this meeting, I talked, I told, talked about group project. And I noticed the gap between I, the image of the leader, ideal, and my situation or position in this group. 
it was an identity crisis because I had a confidence as a leader before I come here. And when I studied about identity in my university, um, in that class, my professor said, identity usually repeat, establish, and diffusion, repeat, like this. And I was here, diffusion. But I thought about myself and this group and this program deeply. And I changed my attitude in my group. I tried to absorb knowledge as much as possible. And gradually, I came to be able to say my opinion too. And I noticed we have various leadership. Everyone is different. It's OK. I also noticed that I am good at listening to others' opinion carefully. So now I know my strong point. So I want to improve the skill and make good use of it after I go back to Japan. So now I can smile with confidence. I also met big turning point in in time with how in the two week second week I'm good at analyzing a movement and others talk but however I'm poor at feeling empathy. Uh, there is a problem in this group. Uh, build that can participate in discussion. I feel very uncomfortable about this situation. I thought I would like to solve, oops, <laughs> solve this problem. Even if I consulted uh, other members, they said because I have the same feeling, it is I couldn't be satisfied with this answer. I thought I would do other way when I was in such position, so I could not agree. So I consulted Harold. He said the part was in my bitter past memory about suffering day about Saka that I shared for him through life as a leader. And he said, a leader always met such team, and leader have to handle such situation. When hearing the, his talk, it was suddenly fell in my mind. Even though the situation and the kind were different, I experienced similar experience in the past. So it was possible to pour in the mind and content to me. And I honestly want to help him in my mind. Uh, at that time, no one expressed in words, though they noticed. Mm. Continue the situation, his spirit would not get better. Fundamentally, I thought I would like to improve this situation clearly, so I decided to ask him. This is a way of sympathy that I love. First, don't make conclusion immediately. Immediately, don't have single story about others and myself. I found out that an assumption. A will be obstruction sometimes to understand others fully, truly. I learn not to immediately make conclusion 
that is as a problem. And continue to try thinking about myself. In this way, I can uh, confront and put emphasis. I learn, uh, and I learn importance of keeping trying if I met a problem. And at the same time, it's very difficult. But I want to continue trying. I think so. Thank you, Taika. <coughs> the third time point is that I think I open my heart to team members after mentoring the fun by one in Hawaii. At first, my goal, my goal was to improve real estate, especially quality. But I couldn't use this real estate in this team because I work, I work about it. marketing as the first time for me in this program. Due to it, Taiga also said, I don't know what I should, I should do. So I thought I couldn't contribute to Team and I felt I as a friend. The member, the team member noticed it, but they they couldn't say it to to think about my feeling. An event to change myself happened. I also had an opportunity which which talk with Harold. I seek advice how I should do in this situation. He said, you should open mind and try anything. Then, I, I thought I may say my real feeling. After talk with her, by chance, uh, I, I talked with Tyler about my feeling. He straightly accepted me, and he, he pushed my, myself to say my real feeling for the other, other team member. I decided to say it from me. The day I said I want to I want to contribute to this team, but I don't know what I should do. All of them accept me and thought about it deeply deeply. After that, they supported me. For example, they they gave me tax tax with my opinion and so on. At the first time, I felt I joined this program. But I thought, what is my leadership? What can, what can I give for my team? Then I also, saw, I also thought, what is my strong point? I thought that through, through all of IE program, I thought about Strong point. My strong point is can is that can unconsciously make people around me good bright good, good bright atmosphere. So in team I could only contribute about project, but I think I, I could make good atmosphere. I I, I am supporting all of members through this program, so thank you everyone. So the day when Delta talked about his anxiety in front of us, that was also my turning point in this project. And he gave me an opportunity to think about my leadership style. Recently, the reason why I decided to join this ID program was to establish my leadership style. Because I don't want to forget about what I want to do in my future. And I want to be a leader who has passion to change our society even when I start working as a 
big company as of next month. So let me go back to the memory of the beginning of the UDA project first. When I knew my group is UDA project, I was very glad because I already experienced, experienced the marketing internship before, two years ago. So it was, that program was similar to this project, UDA project. So I thought I had to lead my members to our goals of the project willingly. And at the same time, I understood this project was not easy, and we didn't enough time to work on it. So I feel a kind of responsibility for this project and members. So therefore, when I heard about this talk at the Yuda bookstore, I felt my shoulder was really heavy. <laughs> And because uh, his anxiety was a kind of the outcome of my action and thought, so he is a kind of mirror of mine. So I think I started thinking about my leadership at the time, and it reminds me of my uh, it reminds me of much more challenge which every team did as a first group project, first group work. At that time, I couldn't talk at all because I'm very talkative. <laughs> and so I really felt frustration at that time. And I couldn't realize the reason exactly when I, why I feel frustration at the time, but now I realize clearly. It was an uh, active fellowship. I like to be a leader, and it's a kind of easy for me to, like, yes, I want to be a leader, and involving members by myself. But I notice sometimes I need to wait for others to come up with ideas and adjust my eye level to others, person. So after Ryota talked to us about his anxiety, I was thinking about my leadership style again in the rest of the day and had a conversation a lot about it with my host mommy, Pat, and we talked about it until almost midnight. So this turning point enabled us to talk each other honestly and share our feelings without hiding all the time. And at the same time, it gave me a chance to find how I need to change my leadership style. So, thank you very we could enhance team building. That is because we all could have been keep our full intention consciously in my mind. Enjoy, respect each other, appreciate, and never hesitate to express your opinion. In addition, as you can see from our team name, Starbucks, we could pursue what kind of person do we want to be and also discover our personality on leadership style through our project. What has changed by ourselves in this program? Open mind is important. Active fellowship. We look empathy and try keep trying.
We are starvers. <laughs> <laughs> about your, your recommendation to the University of Washington about Japanese student recruitment? So I also, of course, want to thank Harold Taniguchi for being such a great team mentor. Obviously, you had a very big impact on this group, so thank you. 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 Thank you.